Hello everyone, this is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this incredible video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you will not find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. Her name is Lou Ann Mitchell. And Lou Ann Mitchell has been called the White Oprah so in this interview, Lou Ann Mitchell talks about in detail how you can private label your company. A lot of people don't know what private labeling is, but in this interview, Lou Ann Mitchell talks in detail how you can private label your successful company with other powerful brands and much, much more. She is a professional speaker and author. So right about now, Go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax, and write down some notes. In this interview that I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Lou Ann Mitchell, in regards to how you can private label your business is going to change your life. So check it out. You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson, Jr., and tonight I have another special interview just for you. Tonight I have a wonderful person on the call, and she's a great friend of mine. Her name is Luann Mitchell. And for those that don't know Luann, I'm going to explain to you about this incredible woman. Luann Mitchell, she has been called the White Oprah, an international best-selling Arthur motivational speaker. She has been named Canada's one female business owner for three consecutive years, inducted as a leading woman entrepreneur of the world, former chairwoman Mitchell's Gourmet Foods. She reaches millions globally as the popular host of Millionaire Mentor on Voice America Internet Radio and is now syndicated with World Talk Radio to reach even more. She is the author of the best-selling book, Paper Doll, and that is an awesome resume. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Lou Ann Mitchell to the call. Thank you so much. It's a real honor and a privilege to be on this call with you, Arthur, and uh, thank you so much, sir. I'm, I'm thrilled to be together with all of your listeners and with you on this great day. Well, I'd like to thank you, Luann, for taking time out your busy schedule to educate my listeners about business strategies. I gladly appreciate it. Thank you. What an honor it is for me as well. Now, what I would like to know, and can you educate my listeners in regards to who you are, how long you've been in your powerful industry, and what is your expertise? All right. Well, I am. Uh, I guess I like to think of myself first and foremost as my roles in this life, and my top priority is as a mother, and I'm a mother of four children. I have one grandson, and uh, I was a single mother, uh, widowed uh, quite young in my 30s, and uh, and so that's when you say the word role. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. I don't think of business acumen or or even uh, with regard to, you know, the charities that I support or different things I do, I think in regards of being a mother because family is very, very important to me. And I believe it's the backbone not only of our nation but of our world. So in some ways to win life's prize, you know, you must pay life's price. And there's also a best-selling book uh, by that name. And so depending on what we set our our objectives, our mindset, our importance on that word success or role, um, I was led because of being a single mother to needing to figure out a way to pay a mortgage that I, I couldn't do when my husband died, ways to feed my children, which was an extremely difficult task. When he died, we were left uh, destitute and certainly very sad with the loss of a great man, but also left 
in a very precarious financial situation. And so there was a lot of fear. So a, a simple question, like what is your role, uh, led me through the fire or through necessity to win life's prize and to pay life's price. And life's price sometimes uh, it, it, it can look way, way higher than we can afford. But on the other hand, when we look at it realistically and we break it down, we understand that if we're the ones who are called, then we can take our gifts to the world and we do have the opportunity to, in fact, uh, go forward. And uh, that's what happened in my life, going from those bare bones beginnings to a multimillionaire today. Mm. To everyone that's listening on this call, I highly recommend go right now and get your pen and your pad. Write down these powerful notes that Luann Mitchell is expressing to me and each and every one of you. These are powerful strategies that you can implement right away in your current business, but you have to be open to these important principles. This is specialized training and knowledge that you will not find anywhere else. Now, Luann, what I would like to know, and can you explain to my listeners in layman's terms, how long have you been in business, and what would you recommend that my listeners do in order to increase their revenues to make six figures or more? Well, first of all, you just said the magic words. You just instructed all your listeners to set a goal. And you see, when you set a goal, you said six figures or more. This is a very, very important and, and really critical ingredient for the recipe of success. So if, in fact, and, I, and those of you who have taken the great advice that Arthur just gave you and you have uh, got a pen in hand or you're making a note on your, your BlackBerry or your iPhone or your digitized computer, whatever whatever it is, make a note of what what was just said because those were words of wisdom. And what we just said together in this call is set a goal. Now, not everyone's goal is necessarily going to be that high in their first goal setting exercise, or maybe it is. But I would highly recommend that you do not set yourself any goals that are really low and it's fear. You know, fear has been an acronym for the word fear, and it goes like this. False evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. So if your goal is six figures or more, write that down. If, if your hand is shaking when you write that and you think, oh, my gosh, that's maybe too high, maybe what I need to do right now is I need to just set myself a goal that's low so that if I reach that, I can be motivated to go higher. I would suggest that you're holding yourself back. You do not want to hold yourself back. If you find yourself finding some, some let's say, fear factors, again, false evidence appearing real, it's making your knees knock, making you fearful, then you've got to really identify what is going on in your mind, what is going on in your heart, because managing your expectations really requires that you learn to love others as you grow through those individual lessons that you're learning yourself. Now, in my case, I felt uh, a lot of resentment and anger. I mean, I was a stay-at-home mother. I had three very small children. Uh, my husband was working. He, uh, he had an illness. We had very high medical bills. We had a mortgage uh, that, that was reasonable for our family, but it was out of my reach in the moment, and, and that was with trying to balance so much more and working jobs from the house when he died. I thought, man, I can't manage my expectations. 